Hello. Find a comfortable sitting position. You don't have to sit cross-legged. You can simply sit on a chair. Make sure your back has support so your spine is straight. And make sure you have no distractions. This time is for you. Begin by having a sensation of how your body feels right now. Notice the feeling of your feet and how they connect to the ground. Notice your hands. Have a sensation of the palms. Bring your awareness to the hips and notice how they feel. Now bring your attention to your stomach and digestive system. How does it feel? Remember, we are just observing. We're not judging ourselves. Now bring your attention to the shoulders and neck. You might want to move your head a little to release any tension. You may want to shrug your shoulders up to your ears a few times. Take your attention to your face. Notice if there is any tension in the jaw. And if there is, open your mouth wide. Stick out your tongue. Screw up your face and then release. Allow your face to relax and have the lips just slightly parted. Let's take our attention to our breath. Notice if you are breathing in through the nose or the mouth. Aim to breathe in through the nose if you can. How is your breath? Is it fast or slow? Is it deep or shallow? Remember, we're not judging. We're just observing. So let's take the breath a little deeper. Breathe in through the nose and imagine your belly filling gently with air. Slowly exhale. Follow the journey of your next inhale through the nose, down through the back of the throat, filling the lungs and into the belly. Follow the journey of the exhale all the way back out through the nose. Let's try this with a count. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. And again, inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Let's try a little longer. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. And one more time. And this time, we will hold for two counts at the bottom of the inhale. You can count for less if you prefer. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold, one, two. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now continue to breathe in your usual way, perhaps just a little bit deeper than normal. Bring your attention to the soles of your feet. 
and imagine them planted in soft, inviting earth. You could imagine the earth slightly cool or warmed from a summer's day. You could imagine flowers around you and even birds singing. Now bring your attention to the pelvis and the pelvic floor muscles and the perineum. This is the energy center called the Muladhara Chakra. Visualize a red flower with four petals. This center is connected to the element of earth. Notice how you feel when you connect to this center. Imagine roots as if from a plant or a tree, connecting you from the center down into the earth. Imagine yourself feeling part of the earth, grounded, safe, secure. Trust that the earth always supports you, always has supported you, and always will support you. You can affirm here, I am safe, I am supported, all is well. I am safe, I am supported, all is well. I am safe, I am supported, all is well. Let's take a breath together. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Now move your attention up a couple of inches inside the body just above the pubic bone area. Imagine another flower, a lotus, in bright orange with six petals. This is your Svadhisthana Chakra. Notice how you feel when you bring your attention here. This center is the seat of your creativity a place where you can experience pleasure and joy. When the center is in balance, you can regain your sense of playfulness, feel comfortable with your sexuality and your sensuality. You can express yourself creatively and experience life to the fullest. You could affirm here, I am a creative being. I create a beautiful life for myself. I express myself fully and joyfully. I am a creator being. I create a beautiful life for myself. I express myself fully and joyfully. I am a creator being. I am creating a beautiful life for myself. I am expressing myself fully and joyfully. Let's take a breath together. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, and one. Gently guide your attention towards the navel area. We are moving our attention to the third energy center, the Manipura Chakra, the city of jewels. This is our power center. You could think of it as your own internal sun, a bright, glorious yellow, full of energy, zest, power, and confidence. 
This center governs your digestive system, your stomach, where serotonin is produced and has direct links to your brain. You could think of it as your second brain or your emotional center. When you have those good instincts or intuition about something, visualize, if you like, a flower, a lotus with 10 petals that are opening up vibrantly yellow, powerful, and confident of their presence in the world. You can affirm here, I am strong and courageous. I am free to make my own choices. I am confident in all that I do. I am authentic and at peace with myself. I am strong and courageous. I am free to make my own choices. I am confident in all that I do. I am authentic and at peace with myself. I am strong and courageous. I am free to make my own choices. I am confident in all that I do. I am authentic and at peace with myself. Let's refocus back to our breath. Inhale slowly and deeply into the belly. One, two, three, four. And exhale, four, three, two, and one. Guide your attention now towards the heart center. This is in line with your biological heart and lies behind the sternum, the breastbone. Allow your attention to soften here, as if a feather is floating gently down to a warm and receptive earth. This is the Anahata Chakra. It has beautiful green hues and 12 petals. It's the seat of living light, your own internal flame that never diminishes and can never be extinguished. Imagine a chalice, if you like, overflowing with love, pouring into every cell of your body and out into the world around you. It is a place of ultimate compassion, forgiveness, peace, harmony, and bliss. Imagine your breath pouring into this center and filling your whole body with peace and love, emanating from you and creating an aura of harmony and peace all around you. You could choose to affirm these words here. I am loved, I am loving, and I am lovable. I am forgiving, and I am forgiven. I am peaceful and harmonious in my life. I am loved, I am loving, I am lovable. I am forgiving, and I am forgiven. I am peaceful and harmonious in my life. I am loved, I am loving, and I am lovable. I am forgiving, and I am forgiven. I am peaceful, I am harmonious in my life. Let's breathe together. Inhale slowly, one, two, three, four, Exhale, four, three, two, one. Gently guiding your attention towards your throat. Here lies our fifth energy center, known as the Vishuddha Chakra. 
Visualize, if you can, the most beautiful of blue colors. It could be a rich turquoise, or aquamarine, or royal. Whatever color comes to your mind is the right one for you. 16 petals for this flower. This area concerns our jaw, a thyroid gland, teeth, ears, neck. It is the area for right words, speaking words of truth, expressing yourself clearly and compassionately and authentically, connecting to your creativity to manifest your life in the right way with integrity. Perhaps learn to speak fewer words, weigh them in your heart first, ask yourself these questions. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? You could affirm these words. I am expressing myself gracefully, eloquently and confidently. I am speaking calmly with compassion. I am a creator being. I am expressing myself gracefully, eloquently and confidently. I am speaking calmly with compassion. I am a creator being. I am expressing myself gracefully, eloquently and confidently. I am speaking calmly with compassion. I am a creator being. Let's take a breath here. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Guide your attention to your sixth energy center, which lies between the eyebrows in a subtle, non-physical sense. It encompasses the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, the eyes, the head. An invisible but powerful, inward-looking third eye. This center is beyond wisdom, beyond the external world. It develops your clarity to see the truth of reality. Your place of true knowingness and intuition. Here you can access senses of a more spiritual aspect. You could visualize this center as a lotus flower with two petals of a rich violet purple or indigo color. Affirming these words as your attention rests here. I am the source of my truth. I am seeing and acting in alignment with my divine purpose. I am infinitely wise and trust my own inner guidance. I am the source of my truth. I am seeing and acting in alignment with my divine purpose. I am infinitely wise and trust my own inner guidance. I am the source of my truth. I am seeing and acting in alignment with my divine purpose. I am infinitely wise and trust my own inner guidance. Breathing in deeply now, slowly and with great gratitude for the breath. Inhaling one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one.
softly let your attention move to the crown of your head. This area is from the tips of your ears around the top of your skull. When you were born, the center here, the fontanella, was soft. It's usually the first part of the newly born to connect with the outside world. All information was received here. This center represents the true goal of yoga. It is the seat of supreme consciousness, divine splendor, the absolute God realization, realization of the self. The lotus here is known as the thousand petal lotus. It is pure light, more brilliant than any sun, incorporating all colors and all silence. It is supreme union with all that is. Allow yourself to rest here in the stillness of all that is for as long as you like in absolute union as you swim in the ocean of bliss. <laughs>